close to exactly a year after his test debut bumrah would rip through the entire australian batting lineup in the boxing day test and on receiving the man of the match awards afterwards he would say the start has been good and hopefully i will keep on getting better today 4 years down the line he was named the captain of the indian team now yes we lost the match it wasn't the outcome that we wanted but in all of this what is flying under the radar is that pumra becoming the captain marks an important historical and strategic shift in the course of indian cricket and hopefully world cricket too today i am going to break down that shift bowlers don't become captains it's one of those unspoken rules in cricket bowlers just don't become captains In fact just to show you how true this statement is I went through the test captains of all the eight test playing countries starting from 1975 and divided them according to their roles in total 167 captains have taken the mantle for their respective countries and from them 14 were bowlers 14 then to further check whether this pattern has changed in the past few years I divided the captains according to their years and the answer nope things are changing for all rounders though Before 1995 there were only 10 all-rounder captains a number that has jumped to 25 after 1995 whereas bowlers 7 before and 7 after now it would be fine if the status quo was being maintained but if we changed this numbers into percentage the picture gets even bleak out of the total 58 captains before 1995 41 were batsmen that's a percentage of 70 meaning 70% of all the captains were batsmen this number post 1995 70% however all rounders jumped from 17% to 23% whereas bowlers went from 12% to 6.4% that old belief regarding bowlers seem to have gotten more entrenched with time but with a new updated reasoning behind it This belief regarding bowlers stems originally from the class divide between players and gentlemen. Gentlemen were amateurs who used to play as a hobby and did not get a payment for playing, whereas the professionals or players were those who required payment for their time. They used to make a living from the sport. Generally speaking, players were bowlers and hailed from a lower class, while the gentlemen were batsmen of an educated middle or upper class. Difference in class. it made sure that no bowler would ever preside over a team of upper class batsmen in fact england would go on to have 45 different captains before getting a player as a captain all the way in 1952 len hutton who also happened to be a batsman but that was in the past now though the reasoning seemed to have shifted a bit they go from something as simple as uh, bowlers are plagued with injuries hence they can't be relied on in the long run to them having simply too much on their plate if they have to manage captaincy while expending every last bit of energy while trying to get the batsman out it gets too much now doesn't it then we also have the spiteful ones saying that bowlers lack the self control to not overuse themselves once they become the captain to even bowlers having to stand near the boundary and hence not being close enough to the opposing batsman to set the field up properly to effectively marshal the troops The reasonings are as colorful and varied as you can imagine and some of them hold water too but all of them together have made sure that while all-rounders are getting an increasing share in captaincy bowlers seem to have been completely written off off of the leadership mandate at least they were till Pat Cummins became the captain the first fast bowler to get captaincy in Australia's 144 year old cricketing tradition yes In a country filled with legendary pace bowlers, no fast bowler was ever deemed to be good enough to become the captain. But after Cummins was selected to lead Australia into the Ashes, that too because Tim Payne suddenly resigned just 20 days away from the Ashes in the very first test match as a captain, he took seven wickets. And then, despite missing one test due to COVID, he went on to become the leading wicket taker in Ashes for the third year in a row. Australia won that series 4-0 within a year of the humiliating 2-1 loss to India. This was followed by another series victory in Pakistan and together somehow this seems to have shifted the narrative around bowlers. The direct beneficiary of which happens to be Bumrah.
somebody who has not captained a ranji side forget about ranji side somebody who has not even captained a club side before first got elevated to the vice captaincy post in february and now to the captaincy now i do hear the backlash that he has been receiving due to the loss but here is the thing the reason why he had been elevated though it may have been helped along by pat comments was mainly due to his consistency bowling at an average of 90 km per hour going all the way up to 140 km when required he has hold true to his belief of needing to improve so strong is this motivation of his that he even discusses his bowling with the pitch staff in foreign countries short run on orthodox action fast pace and the ability to hit the block hole together he has been the workhorse behind the indian success and this ascension is that consistency being rewarded now india has never shied away from giving bowlers captaincy post 1975 we have the highest numbers of bowlers as captains in fact if we expand the search a bit then we had our first bowling captain all the way back in 1950s when gulam ahmed got the cap in 1956 but here is the thing what makes bumrah special is that all of the bowling captains before him were spinners somehow in the last 13 years we have gone from living and dying by spin to having a pace lineup that can challenge any country for pace supremacy but unlike in the past this is not one or two bowlers here and there we seem to have developed a system for constantly unearthing new bowling talents that continually feeds to the national team the greatest proof of which was the 2020 border gavaskar trophy bumrah's ascension in spite of being temporary and injury driven it is in recognition of this fact pace in india is not a novelty anymore it is the norm and bumrah has been the spearhead of the shift ever since his debut in 2018 and still having a captaincy style that's more resembling of a monk when compared to virat kohli so here is where i end the video by just repeating the words coach rahul dravid has said when he was asked about bumrah's captaincy i think he is a very thoughtful individual he understands the game very well and commands respect from the team i have told him that we need him as a bowler captaincy is something that you will get better at as you do it more i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have a good day thank you for watching